Hey guys, I'm Ash from STG Global. Today we're going to be walking around our world-class water truck. Today we've got a, an 8,000 litre water truck and I'll be walking around and showing you the features and benefits and also showing you the different options that you can get on our whole suite of water trucks. What I'm going to go through now is our front road sprays. This is an option that we do on all our trucks. Now, one of the really exciting features about the way that we design the front road sprays is that all you need is a 15 mil spanner and you can effectively change the spray pattern. So all you need to do is just go through and loosen it up. And what that does is gives you the capabilities to move the spray pattern. Now, really you'll have two applications here. Either you're going to want to have the spray head high and that'll give you a really flat spray pattern which will be used for adjust suppression purpose. The other way that you'd want it is basically facing it down. And what that does is it gives a really strong stream into the road and gives you a road washing capability. Here at STG, we're the only manufacturer that actually hot dip galvanise our products. And so what that means is you've got a much greater useful life with the STG tank than you do with any of our competitors. Our competitors paint them, we hot dip galvanise it. The best way to think about it is this, guys. If you could buy a galvanised trailer over, over a painted trailer, which one would you choose? I'll leave the decision up to you. Now, the next one I want to talk about is the plate that we have at the top. We had a customer in a mine site, and the customer was driving it down a quite steep ravine. And what he was finding is that the water would come out of the tank and would go over the cabin and also into the transmission. And this was causing an element of rust. And so what that's designed to do is, is stop the water from coming up to the front of the tank. And then what you've also got is you've got a couple of sections in the tank that come through and drain the water at the top. And so our trucks are built with the operators in mind. We're always interested in learning from the operators and what's happening on site and making sure that we're putting those design characteristics back into the truck to make sure that when you buy an STG unit, you're buying a world-class piece of equipment. I know a lot of you have been asking, why a hydraulic setup? What's the difference? What does it do? And I'm here to explain that for you. Now, with the hydraulic system, you've got much more control over your spray. In the cabin, which I'll show you shortly, you can set five, you can set seven, you can set 10, you can set two. And then irrespective of the speed of the engine, you've got the very similar spray pattern. And so in jobs where you're trying to make sure that you're not putting water into, um, into an area over a line or um, you're trying to have a really fine spray pattern, our hydraulic systems are specifically designed for those applications. One of the greatest parts of the electronic controls is that you can control the spray irrespective of the RPM of the engine. You've got incremental control from 0 to 10, which represents 0 to 100% of the speed of the water pump. At STG, while we're at the forefront of innovation, we've chosen to keep the control system very simple. After consulting our customers, we've chosen to continue with the superior system of air pneumatics over the air over electric system. And that's because everyone knows electronics and water just don't mix. There are a very simple air pneumatic switch, which means that air goes in and then air goes out directly to the spray head. In addition to the other safety features that we've got on the STG water trucks, we've also got an emergency stop within the cabin. We are gonna look at how this thing is powered. We only use high quality brands within this from Europe. We have a 120 litre tank on there that supplies the hydraulic fluid down to our very high efficiency Bondioli and Pavese piston pump that goes through to our Acon SPV120 valve. On hot days, we have coupled this with a cooler as well, which is just sat behind the valve, which keeps your system running nice and efficiently and keeps your running costs down as well. Dialing this in and out from the cab uses a PWM control box. This system is more efficient because if it's dialed off, the system's off and it's not eating energy from your truck. So you're burning less fuel, you're creating less heat in your hydraulic system as well. Once it's dialed up, it then goes down to our Permco motor, which is coupled to our water pump. The Hydrico water pump is the industry standard for any water truck out there, basically. It's a cast iron product. It's nice and robust. It's USA designed. It's manufactured 
machined and built and tested here in Victoria, Australia. You have the local support, it has a great lifespan as well. This is the most dependable, robust pump we can have running on this truck, especially when it's coupled with the Permco M197 motor. The Akon SPV120 also has a manual override option, so in case your electronics do go down, um, you can still manually operate it as well. The Akon SPV120 valve is all assembled and tested here in Victoria, Australia as well. We have a 100% test policy before anything goes out the door to make sure it's going to be there and working when it's fitted to the truck, commissioned and out in the field. The MP filtry high pressure filter in the system allows you to have longer intervals between service periods as well, keeping your system healthy and running harder. Whitelaw Hydraulics have been working very, very closely with STG over the years and we've come to help develop this water truck system together. Things weren't changing in the field. People were not open to the change from a gear product to the piston product. We're pushing the boundaries and we're having a more efficient system that comes in. It's going to be better for the owners and operators as well, especially when you can dial things in and get the water where you need it, along with saving fuel and energy. So when you compare the direct drive system to the hydraulic system, you can really see the investment that you're making. You get the incremental control and, and you also get a lot more finer movements with the pump. Now one of the newer options that you can spec up on an STG water truck is the IMF low water sensor. IMF is a leading supplier of digital sensors and what we've done is that we've incorporated the IMF low water sensor into the PDO. And so the way that we program this option is when the water runs low, it automatically turns off the pump. And so what this does is it gives you a greater ability to ensure that you don't damage the pump by running it out of water. It's an option that we highly recommend and something that we believe is a great return on investment. The other option I want to talk to you about today are the electronic options. In this truck, we have optioned up an isolator box with an isolator in it. And so while this one only has the battery isolator, we can also include a starter isolator. As you can see here, they have lockout facilities. And depending on the requirements for your site or mine site, we can cater to those needs. Now safety is always something that is a top priority here at STG. And so what we fitted here is an emergency e-stop. And so the way that emergency e-stop works is that if the truck's running and you have an emergency, you press it in and it will turn off the truck. All our trucks here at STG come standard with side batter sprays. As you can see up here, they're also connected to a roll groove fitting. And what that means is that you can take that roll groove fitting off and you can change the pattern of the spray. What you can also see here is that all of our pipe work is internal. Not only is this visually appealing, but it also creates much greater structural integrity within the tank. Anywhere there's a penetration, we've actually doubled that and we've got two six mil sections. So and you've got 12 mil of steel, um, which is three, four, five gray, which is then hot dip galvanized. These are the reasons why the STG tanks just can't be beaten. Now, one of the other parts that I want to talk to you about is the section up here. And what you can see is you can see a donut around that spray. And so what that is, that's actually an extra piece of steel that we put in there to ensure that there's no flex. That's something that we do unique here at STG and means that you've got a much more reliable, robust water truck. Now we have front and rear sight tubes. We've chosen to put that on the front right and the rear left to give the driver a really easy access point to see how much water's left in the tank. By simply looking out the side mirror, they can see the sight glass and clearly see how much water is left within the tank. Now something unique to our 8,000 litre water trucks are the integrated toolboxes on the side. As standard on all our trucks, we have side indicator lights. Now the other option with lighting is our work light package. Now with our work light package, you get two spotlights at the front and two spotlights at the rear. And what that allows is a safe working environment in low light conditions. Now guys, we're down here at the business end of the STG water truck. As you can see, there's more spray heads than you can poke a stick at. We've got five here in total. 
As mentioned before, all our spray heads are on roll grooves, and what that means is that you've got the ability to change the spray pattern. And you can do that with the, the sprays at the back, the one in the middle, that's also got an option that we can rotate it up into 90 degrees if you're looking for a much flatter spray pattern. And the same thing with the, with the drop bars at the bottom. Now, one of the really important things to talk about the STG product is we're conscious of rust. As we mentioned before, we're the only manufacturer that's got a hot dip galvanised tank. You can see all of our fittings are galvanised or stainless steel. And we've only even gone to the extent to ensure that even our wiring is marine tint grade wiring. Everything in this truck is built not to rust, which means that you're going to have a much better useful life of your asset compared to any other water truck. One of the features that we've designed is a fold-down ladder, which gives you the ability to access the top of the tank. One of the other functions of the STG water trucks is that we've actually got a pressurised out where you can either use it to fill up the road stabiliser, fill up another tank, or alternatively, just get the water out as quick as you can. Now, moving along is our one and a half inch fire reel. Now, these things pack some serious pressure. You can use them to wash down machinery. You can use them to wash down the road. You can even use them to water the plants. We've got 20 metres of one and a half inch wash down hose on this reel and it's more than you'll ever need. And here at STG, we've thought about the small things, like a little clasp that you can connect your hose to. Now, as a standard option, we have drop bars, and what that does, it gives you a really nice V pattern on the ground. The other two options that we offer is that we offer a pressurised dribble bar and also a gravity dribble bar. So the reality is we can have whatever you want, you guys have just got to let us know. One of the other exciting features on the STG water truck is the fact that we use spray heads that have collars on them. And so what that means is you can actually change the width of the spray pattern. You can go from a very narrow pattern into a very wide pattern. And all you need to do that is take off the loosening nut here on the side and turn it around to get the desired angle. In order to comply with mining regulations, we've ensured that the pneumatic system and the electrical systems are two independent systems and are separated, as you can see right here. All of the pneumatics is in solid conduit, not in split conduit. STG goes that step further and ensures that sticker kits are standard on all of our water trucks. Now, as you can see on a water truck, there's not many places for storage. Now, our engineers have squeezed every last square centimetre out of it and have actually managed to hold two three metre lengths of hose within the subframe. These can be used for filling up from a dam in using the self-fill system. We've designed the STG water truck with full LED tail lights, spotlights, and also beacons. And given the harsh environments to which the STG products are being used, the LED products excel. Now, not only is this tow bar aesthetically pleasing, it's also engineered to be able to be used as a tow point to pull the truck out if it finds itself in a difficult situation. Now in most applications, you'll be filling up this truck with a hydrant, and filling up with a hydrant means that you need to get a hydrant permit. All of STG water trucks have certified fill points. And what we mean by that is that they've got a one-way valve here at the bottom, and then they've also got an air gap up at the top. Now the STG water trucks are known in the industry as a two chassis tank. What we mean by that is that the chassis will rust out well before the tank does. We recommend that you option up for the Amalok 400 paint protection package. Now, what that package is, is that we use an Amlock 400, which is a 2K paint which is designed for industrial applications, and we paint that generously on the chassis. And what that ensures is that the chassis will last as long as the STG module on the top of it. We recommend this to ensure that the customer is getting the best longevity out of the asset. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video on the WT8000. Call us on 1300 998 784 to book your demo and get an individualised quote. <laughs>